So you took some underwater video and you wanna make it look amazing. In this video, we're gonna color grade some underwater footage using Premiere Pro. Now you can do this with almost any footage from any camera, whether it be from a GoPro or from a bigger camera like this A6500. So let's jump in and start working on it. We're gonna start with this clip of the scuba diver. You can see the before and here is the after. So let's take a look at the original. And before we start color grading, I'm gonna go here on my left. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna turn on my histogram here so I can see which colors are more prominent and you can see my reds are low my greens are pretty high and I do have some blues in there so I'm going to start by adjusting the white balance very first I'm going to bring it over some magentas here crank the magenta up and you can see that that'll start bringing some reds out and it'll bring the blue out a bit so then we'll go ahead and bring the orange up too and uh, we'll see we want it to get a little blue in the background a little beige on the bottom all right, that looks pretty decent there, and the skin tones still look kind of natural. We can go over here to exposure, play around with this. So if we go higher in the exposure, you can see on our histogram, we're starting to blow out a little bit. So we don't want to do that. We'll maybe dial it back just a spec. We'll add some contrast back into it. We will drop the highlights down a little bit like that. Shadows. We're gonna drop the shadows down and that's gonna make our blacks really nice and dark. So that's starting to look better already. Whites, we're going to boost the whites just a tad. And our blacks, we're gonna go ahead and we will drop the blacks down too. So we'll get a little bit darker there. Now let's get down to saturation. We can kind of play with that a little bit. If we go up with the saturation, you can see everything kind of turns blue. I don't really like that as much. I'm actually gonna drop the saturation down a little bit. To about 91 and I think that looks good there so let's take this basic correction off for a second there's what we look like before and there's where we're at now so that's already a huge improvement so that's basic correction so now let's go on to creative okay now we're on creative so we'll come down here and let's drop the vi vibrance a little bit down and yeah, I kind of like that there. And the saturation here, we will, let's leave that. Actually, let's leave that right where it was. I think that's fine. So let's skip on to curves. Okay, now this is a big one here. So when you open up the curves, you have this very first grid here. Um, you can edit the different colors that you see. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the whites. And let's start at the top right part of the curve. We'll grab a point, we'll bring it up, and we'll bring it down. So if we go up, you can see everything kind of gets bright, <clears throat> blown out. So we're gonna drop it down just a little bit there. And that's starting to give us a little more definition in the picture. Okay, now we're gonna go to the middle. We'll bring it up. No, it doesn't look very good. We'll go down a little bit more and you can see now we're starting to get a lot of more detail. It's starting to look a lot clearer there. We'll go all the way to the bottom of the curve, bring it up. No, that looks doesn't look good either. We'll go down with it. And then look at that, that looks really nice. Starting to get some really nice dark blacks there. Good contrast, looks really nice. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Let's go on to the reds. Now this was actually very, very deep when I filmed this and my light was not on. So I really don't think there's very many reds at all to work with, but we can try. So let's grab the top of the waveform in the red. Let's crank it up. And you can see if we crank it up, the skin tones actually look a little better. The yellow looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so we'll leave that there. Let's grab it in the middle, see what that does. And raise it up a little bit. Okay, good skin tones there. And we'll go down to the bottom, go up just a tad. If you go up too high, you can see, actually that looks pretty good there. Skin tones look a little better and we're getting a little more brown in the bottom. But we've lost the blues. So let's go to the blues. Let's grab the top of the blues, pull it up. Nope, that doesn't look good either. Grab the middle of the blues. And I think that looks good there. We'll grab the bottom of the blues there. Pull it up a little bit. Pull it down. Okay, yeah, I think that's looking pretty good right there. So let's go ahead and we will turn off this curve and see what changes we made. Oh my goodness, look at that, that looks incredible. So there's before we adjusted our curves, there's after we adjusted our curves. That was a huge, huge improvement. Okay, so now if you come down here, this hue versus saturation, 
you can grab anywhere along this line and adjust specific colors. So like if I wanna add more reds, I can come over to the red. I can grab that and I can pull the red up and that looks pretty good. Or I can grab the blue, pull the blue down, but actually I think we'll leave the blue right about there. We can grab the green, pull it down. That looks really good. That's a nice color correction there. So let's un undo that one, see what changes we made. So yeah, that made it a little bit nice. Some more blues, uh, natural looking tones. I think that looks really, really good. Very last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a little bit of vignette on here. I kind of like the vignette and, and the look that it gives. So let, let's go grab a vignette, we'll drop it down. And that kind of just like dims out the corners, kind of brings the focus on the diver and it just gives it a really dramatic nice looking feel so there's without the vignette there's with the vignette so i think that looks pretty nice so i'm pretty happy with this clip if you want to you can come back to basic correction and you can kind of you know maybe brighten it up a spec but i like that right there overall i think that looks really really good so let's go over here to effect controls we'll come over here to lumetri color and let's just go ahead and delete that for a second and wow there's the original clip or is control Z undo? Wow, look at that. We made a big, big difference there. So that is without color correction and that is with color correction on this clip. And that looks incredible. I'm really, really happy with that clip. I think that looks really beautiful. Now I did shoot most of this footage in a flat color profile. A flat color profile has a little less contrast and a little less saturation than the camera would normally put out. However, when you do take the footage into color grade, it will color grade a little bit better and you'll get better results from it. On to our second clip. This is a short clip of a sea plume. So here is before and here is after color grading. You can see before, again, low contrast, very washed out, not very dark darks, not much color to it, a little hazy. If you look after, we have good rich colors, many different colors, including reds, and this is very beautiful. So what we can try to do, we can go over to our scuba diver clip over here, and we can go ahead and copy the clip, come back over here. We'll go over this clip here. There's a couple ways we can do this, but I'll right click, and I'm gonna go up here to paste attributes, and then in here make sure lumetri color is checked and click ok and that will take our color grading from the previous clip and put it on here and you can see that looks absolutely terrible because these were shot in two different conditions if you have two clips that are very similar you can just copy your color correction from one and add it to the other so we'll go ahead and we'll undo that one all right so let's start by color grading here again we're going to start with the white balance we'll go ahead on the magenta slider we'll bring it over we'll add some magentas Get the reds up there and we'll add some oranges as well Let's see it. now it's just a balance just find what kind of looks good you want to have some oranges and reds on the corals but you still want to have that blue background in the back so i think that looks good right about there that looks decent for now let's come over here to exposure and i'm going to boost exposure a little bit oh before we do this let's go back over to the left side of our panel here and let's, again, let's look at our histogram and our scope to see what colors we're working with here. So exposure, we can go a little, little higher in the exposure, boost it up a little bit. Contrast, and we will increase the contrast. And look at that, that looks really nice when we increase the contrast. That makes a huge difference. Highlights, uh, we'll bring the highlights up. No, I think we'll actually just leave the highlights right there for now. Shadows. I'm going to drop the shadows a little bit. That'll give us nice dark darks and more contrast. Whites, I'll boost the whites a little bit and the blacks, I will darken those up a little bit. And saturation, drop it down. No, I think uh, maybe we'll boost saturation on this. Well, yeah, we'll bring saturation up a little bit. Now let's see what this looks like here. Let's uncheck it. Ooh, look at that, that's before. And this is after our very basic color correction. That's starting to look much, much better. So now let's go on to creative. Let's tweak the vibrance a little bit. Um, we'll go up. Yeah, we'll go up a little bit in vibrance. We have very nice blues in the back. We got some good reds over here in the corals. And I'm going to leave that saturation slider alone. We'll go to curves. Again, we'll start on this graph here. We will start on the white and at the top, we'll grab it at the top, bring it up. Bring it down, leave it 
right there actually. Grab it in the middle, bring it up. No, that washes it out. We'll go down a little bit. That looks pretty nice. Grab it on the bottom, bring it up. No, no good. We'll go down with a little bit. And yeah, that's, that's making it real clear, nice and contrasty. It looks really good. So let's grab it on the red, on the red graph now. Bring up the reds a tad in the highs. Nope, too high. Bring it back. Grab, no, nope, too high again. Okay, that looks okay. Grab the middle. Bring it, actually we'll leave that there. We'll grab it in the bottom. And that looks decent there. The greens, let's grab the greens and, you know what, I'm gonna leave that right there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave all these right here. Let's go to blue. Bring the blue down a speck in the highs. Bring the blue. That looks pretty good right there. Okay, let's just leave that one alone. Let's see how much of a change we actually made. Uncheck it. Yeah, look at that. So we gave it more contrast, a little bit better colors. Now, I think we go here to this hue, to saturation. This is gonna make a big difference. So we'll grab the reds. We'll boost the reds a little bit. And you can see, if I boost the reds way up here, you can see everything gets a little crazy, but you do see that it, it does exaggerate the reds and bring it up. So that looks pretty good there in the reds. Let's grab the greens and bring it down a speck. Okay, grab the yellows and let's play with that. Ooh, bring the yellows up a little bit. That makes the coral and the sea whip look really nice. Let's grab the blues and bring that up. Let's bring the blues up a little bit there. Now we have a lot of color going on in this picture and that really brings out the vibrance of this coral. Let's uncheck this graph and see how much of a change we made. Okay, so that's just a real minor change. That looks pretty nice. And we can always go down here, hue versus luma, and we can grab the blue. Let's brighten the blue up a little bit there. That looks pretty good. Let's drop the yellow down a s no, let's bring the yellow. Yeah, I'll bring the yellow down a speck. Bring the greens down a little bit. And the reds we will bring. We'll leave the reds alone. And that looks pretty decent there okay so let's go all the way down to vignette and I'm gonna add a little bit of a vignette to it again because I like the vignette look I like to bring the focus onto my subject in the center and I like that dramatic look there so there's vignette without vignette and with vignette so let's go all the way back to the top here basic correction and we can add a little no actually that looks pretty good there in the exposure okay so I'm pretty happy with that we will leave that one right there so let's hear effects controls lumetri color let's take it off for a second that is before and here's after so before washed out very greeny looking not very clear not much saturation at all very low contrast not a nice clip at all and our after, very rich, vibrant, beautiful clip. I would love to swim around there and see that. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So that's a very easy, nice color correct. I'm happy with that. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you are able to make your underwater footage look amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to this channel for more similar videos. We're gonna do scuba, snorkel, locations, and we're gonna do gear reviews as well. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.